G'day guys, I thought today I would do a haul video. I've not been doing many videos recently for various reasons, I'm trying to play catch up. And I thought I'd do a couple of interesting ones I got recently. So I've got something old, and I'm going to do that one last. Something reasonably recent, but had a figure in it I didn't realise, and it was cheaper to buy a box, a set with it in, than to buy the figure. Go figure, slightly crazy. And then two sets from the Ninjago movie that I wanted one of all the time, mostly for parts if I'm perfectly honest, but it's something that's gonna go into my Ninjago district that I'm making space for at the moment, which you'll see in my next city update. And another one of a set I already had because I really, 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 really like that set and wanted to use that same sort of format again in that area. So let's have a look at what these are. Gonna start with this box. This is the Ninjago movie box. So in here I have both used sets, obviously not new. Um, decided that I didn't need to buy these brand new. First one of which is gonna be this one, the Bridge Battle. I love this set. I, I have this already and I think it's brilliant. I think this is such a beautiful set. Love how the bridge is done and all the little bits of scenery. And I really wanna use this kind of rope bridge. It feels very Ninjago-y to me. So yeah, I, I'm very happy to have found a second one of that one. I think that cost me, I think I paid about $20 less than RRP on that. So I'm, I'm happy to have had that one second hand. And the second one, is the Temple of the Ultimate 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 Weapon. <laughs> Again, a huge set, looks beautiful, massive amount of useful parts, some interesting bits going on in there. Again, sort of repetition of the figures, which is a bit of an issue with a lot of these kind of themes, but we won't talk about that here. But yeah, I like this set. I've seen some, some really good uses of this set in People's City. Um, so yeah, I am, uh, Mr. Boogie Boo had a, a really good setup using this as well. It was one of the ones that inspired me to kind of get hold of it. Some great pieces like these scorpions, lots of blue roofs, grey, some nice signage here. So yeah, again, use, use set, but lots and lots of parts in it. And I like the set generally. So there's a ton of stuff going on and obviously there's stuff behind this as well. So yep, yeah, great set. Next up, this is a set from the Marvel Universe. This was one I got actually from watching a Brickitech video. He mentioned it was actually on sale uh, somewhere in the States. Now over here in Australia, you might find it on a store shelf somewhere if you're super, super, super lucky. I am not generally that lucky and I don't go around looking at that many shops, so um, I didn't uh, do it. But he made a point that there's a minifigure in here that I didn't actually realize was even in here, and that was him, Iron Man. So this is the Iron Skull sub-attack. Now it's new in its box, very dinged up box. That doesn't matter because that meant I got the set for, again, less than RRP, which is good for a retired set. Um, he was the main reason. That figure there costs, I think, $20, $25 on Bricklink. I got this whole thing for $55. So for that, I've got Iron Man. I, he's in here somewhere, here's Iron Man. We've got Iron Skull again, then we've got the uh, Hydra Diver here, and this whole submarine, which isn't terrible. I've seen some reviews of it, I've watched them. It's not a bad, it's not a bad set, but it's got some fantastic parts in it as well. But it has the Scuba Iron Man in it, which is really cool. There's some space, if anybody's got the Hall of Armor, you know there's spaces in there. So that one's another one of those spaces filled for me. Pretty happy with that. I mean, it's an interesting looking sub. I like the idea of the set. It's not something that appeals to me in terms of actually keeping it intact, but I'm definitely gonna use quite a few parts of it. Uh, and again, great pieces, lots of nice big black pieces here, which are gonna look great and these gray shapes. So that's gonna be really good. Fits in with something else I'm working on, so that's cool. Last, and absolutely not least, this is something that goes back to the 1990s of Lego. This is something I had as a kid, I had some of these, and it came up randomly on one of my Facebook groups the other day, a guy was selling a load of parts, a load of minifigures, all the same, and I was like, oh, I've got this idea in my head, I can get four of these, or I can get a few of these and use them in this sort of idea I've got. 
And then we got chatting a bit more and he had a load more parts, like spare parts that go with this particular theme. And that was because he's a massive collector. He's collected them for years and he sent me some photos of what he's got going on. And it's just, he had an incredible selection. I said, mate, why are you getting rid of this? He said, I've literally got too much of it. I need to get rid of some of it. So I'm like, okay, well, I can help you with that. So the theme in question is one of the old space themes and you might already recognize it from the colors coming through the box here, but it's these guys, Mtron. Now I'm gonna leave these in these bags so I don't lose them, but Mtron was one of the space themes from yesteryear. So I've got four of those minifigures from him. And my idea is actually to build something to do with the Aliens franchise into my city, but I'm not gonna use Aliens minifigure, I'm gonna use mini, um, Mtron minifigures instead of the Colonial Marines um, for the reason that I also got a stack of these lovely luminous yellow parts with the Mtron logo on there <coughs> which if you turn it upside down is actually Wayland yutani for anybody who's an alien not like me so yes yeah, so I bought a stack of those to use in that mock as well and I'm not going to give away where I'm going to do this yet but you should see it in the next few weeks hopefully if I can get it done before I have to go into hospital again that's a different story um, so yeah that was my uh, so that was yeah I was really happy to see this one it's, the guy's got fantastic collection Mtron was an awesome theme I had quite a few sets from this theme as well I had Blacktron as well so I think this is gonna look really cool when you see what I'm gonna do with it so that was it that was my set what do you reckon I'm Excited to show you what I've got planned for those Mtron pieces. I, 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 I it was an idea I had recently, and I, I told I told one of my friends, and he's like, "That's awesome if you can pull it off." So hopefully it's going to work the way I hope it's going to work. Um, the Ninjago stuff. I love the Ninjago movie sets. I thought they were awesome. I, I, I enjoyed the movie. I'm honest, people enjoyed the movie. I think they brought it out too quickly though, and I think they could have been a bit better, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And another Iron Man suit, yes, I love Iron Man, so I'm start working on my Hall of Armour soon as well. Need to combine the big one with the small Hall of Armour and put the whole thing together and start building up my Avengers Tower. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of those parts, are any of those ones exciting, anything there you go, oh I remember that, or oh, boy, you're going to do some cool stuff with that. If you're new here, hit subscribe, I post regularly-ish, <laughs> I'm working on the getting back into my routine. And I'll see you again very soon. Here's a couple more videos I think you'll enjoy. And thank you for watching.